Apple just released tvOS 17 to the public and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 7 new features in tvOS 17. The first most noticeable change in tvOS 17 is the addition of a 6th icon in the dock and every single row on tvOS. So now you can view more apps at a glance than ever before. Also for the applications that you have in the dock, you now get a full screen background. So for the Netflix, you can see it covers the entire screen. Instead of just a top portion, it's going to cover the entire screen and it looks a lot cleaner than it did before. This next one should have been on the Apple TV for some time now, but nonetheless, they finally added it in tvOS 17. So now you finally get a live clock in the top right hand corner. This next one is the biggest new change in tvOS 17 and it is the revamped control center in tvOS. The control center in tvOS is a lot more useful than ever before. You can control a lot of settings right from the control center. So now you can switch user profiles right from the control center. You can also do system toggles like powering off, do not disturb, check your audio settings as well as accessibility settings all from the control center. And if you have HomeKit devices, you can also control that right from the control center. And the control center can be opened in any application. So it just makes it a lot more useful than before. And I'm glad they actually changed this because before it was kind of a mess but now you can actually use it and it has a lot more functionality than before. In tvOS 17, Apple is finally adding a sleep timer to the Apple TV. You can access the settings by going into the control center and then going into sleep timer and then you have the option of doing 2 hours, 1 hour, 30 minutes or 15 minutes and if you go into the settings application under general then you have the same option to do a sleep timer in there as well. I know a lot of people were expecting this feature to be available since time but finally in tvOS 17, we're finally getting a sleep timer feature. In tvOS 17 Apple is introducing some new screensavers for your Apple TV so if you go into your settings general and you go into your screensaver you still have the option for Arial which is personally my favorite but you also have the option to set up your photos or even photography from Apple. Photography from Apple has some options like animals, flowers, landscapes, nature, as well as shot on iPhone images, and they all look amazing on your TV. So if you're looking for new screensaver options, then now you have more options available in tvOS 17. But personally, Ariel is still one of my favorite and I'm sticking to that one. I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, iTool Lab. Apple just announced the latest iPhone and if you're looking for a way to transfer your WhatsApp, iTool Lab has got you covered with its all new WhatsApp transfer tool, What's Go. It's the best all-in-one transfer tool for your WhatsApp data. With What's Go, you can transfer your WhatsApp data easily from Android to iPhone, Android to Android, iPhone to Android, as well as iPhone to iPhone. Your contacts, messages, call history, images, videos, stickers, and more are easily transferred to your next phone. There's no need to factory reset your iPhone. What's Go is capable of transferring large files without long waits or getting stuck. What's Go is available on both PC and Mac, and all you have to do is connect your two phones and click transfer, and you're good to go. It's as easy as that. The best part is iTool Lab has a big sale right now and you can get up to 40% off. Check out the links in the description below for links and coupon codes. And now let's get back to the video. Next, we have VPN support coming to the Apple TV in tvOS 17. So if you go onto the App Store on tvOS 17, you can finally search for VPN applications and have that on your Apple TV. The best thing about a VPN on the Apple TV is that you can unlock more content when you have Netflix, Disney Plus, or Prime or anything like that because you can change your region to a different region and unlock content for that region. This is definitely going to be a game changer for the Apple TV and I can't wait for more apps to be available on the App Store. Right now there's just a few applications but there should be more being added as we speak. And finally one of the best new features coming to the Apple TV is the ability to find your Siri remote using your iPhone. On your iPhone, you can go ahead and pull down the control center and access the Siri remote. And at the top, you could choose your living room TV or your bedroom TV or whatever TV you have. And there's gonna be a new icon saying find. And if you click on the find, it's gonna give you this find my screen and it's gonna help you locate your Siri remote. Now this will only work if you have the Siri remote, the second generation or higher, and you have to have TV OS 17 on your Apple TV as well as iOS 17 on your iPhone. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did find this video useful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace